We head into a deeply frigid blast of winter weather. Animal health experts have a reminder. The rule of thumb that I always say to people is if it's uncomfortable for you, it's uncomfortable for them. Unless you have a specific Arctic breed of dog, it's safe to say your pet won't be able to tolerate prolonged exposure to this kind of cold, and it's just as dangerous. Absolutely, they can get frostbite. Most typical is going to be somewhere toes, um, ears, um, more the periphery of the body. Signs to look for include red irritated areas or skin that's turning from red to purple to black. And if it gets to that point, call a vet immediately. You know, feral cat populations make sure that there's warm boxes with hay or straw, something that they can bunker down in, something that they can get out of the wind in. Most importantly, use common sense. And if your pet is used to that long weekend walk, maybe hold off on your typical Saturday morning routine. Not going to suggest taking your dog on a lengthy walk at the peak of it. If you have to go out in this, you have to have your pet out in this, having some sort of protection for their feet and or even, you know, like a little coat or some sort of blanket, something to protect them would make them a lot more comfortable as well. Another tip to remember all winter long is that exposure to salt and other de-icing materials can harm your pet's skin, so routinely try to wipe their paws when they come inside. I'm Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5.